You're welcome back. The newly elected president of the Chartered Institute of Bankers Nigeria, Bayo Ulubimi, has expressed concern at how negatively the novel coronavirus would impact the nation's banking sector. He said this while speaking earlier with David Ubabudike in Lagos. Now, speaking of the impact of the pandemic is having on financial institutions, especially banks, he said this bank should further take advantage of technology in dealing with the expected challenges. Not just only the banking uh, subsector that is hit by COVID-19. Uh, we all know that the pandemic is a worldwide thing, not just Nigeria. And of course, not only the banking industry, but the office of the economy is it. If you want to use that language, badly it. Uh, coming back to the banking sector, because we don't exist in a vacuum, we belong to the uh, entire ecosystem of the Nigerian economy and the world economy at large. Definitely we are it, especially during the, the time of uh, uh, pre the lockdown and the lockdown itself. And of course, immediately after the ease, uh, the easing of the, of the lockdown, there has been a lot that um, has happened. Of course, we were not um, operating at the optimum level that we used to operate before. And of course, we also know that no matter what happens to the economy, there will be a backlash, either negative or positive, on the banking sector because we lend to other sectors of the economy, we support the other sectors of the economy, and if they are not doing very well, of course, it will affect a lot of things, including loan repayment. And that is the area where I think the banking subsector in, the 20, in 2020 may be um, badly affected. And you know that even prior to the COVID-19 uh, issue, we've always been, we've had a problem with, the, with, with our major uh, FX ANA, which is the oil and gas sector. So with that now, it, it, it become a kind of double whammy, so to say. It compounded the existing problem. Um, so what we, we see, uh, or we may likely see, is that there may be a lot of issues with loan repayment. So uh, in the 2020 reports of many banks, you may see an upswing in, uh, in, in uh, non-performing loans. What would you say could be the impact, negative impact of uh, a rise in non-performing loans in the banking sector? The, the, because of the fact that the banks may not be able to lend as before because of the, 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 the pandemic, uh, banks are also not taking in deposits. And if they take at all, it's as what I call very ridiculous rate that's alien to Nigeria, 1% or even less than 1%. So that may also affect uh, um, the, the banking industry negatively because you're taking money. You can also not own land because people are not um, uh, taking loans to, to, do, to run their businesses because of the, the way the economy is. But by and large, I, I believe with what most of the banks are doing now, which they were doing before, but they did now upscale it, the issue of digital uh, channels, using digital channels to do their businesses. I think that may also be a plus for, for the banking industry uh, this year and the years to come. Uh, the banks need to sit down with their customers to discuss on how to probably restructure, reschedule, uh, elongate the, the tenors. Because if that is not done, of course there will be an awkward swing in um, NPR. So I think the, 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 the way to do it first is to settle down and say, how do we help the economy? How do we help our customers to be, how do we encourage them to pay? Because if, if I'm not doing any business, I mean for two, for one month or thereabout, the economy was totally locked down. Now we are coming out gradually. Definitely it will uh, uh, affect negatively the ability of the customers to pay. And if they are unable to pay, and you want them to pay, it will become a non-performing loan. So the best bet is to see how we can ensure we help our customers to pay. How do we encourage them to pay? How do we incentivize them to pay? And one of the things is to sit down first. Maybe not actually reducing the interest rate, but if that is possible, why not? But the most important thing is to uh, restructure and to increase the, the years of repayment. So that will 
definitely um, have positive effects on non-performing loans. 